Tonight is May the 30th, 2016. This is a uh, one more and the last video I'll probably do here on this uh, FFT software uh, as per se the FFT software, but I'm really pleased with it. I'm sure there's still a bit more that I need to learn about it, but I have uh, come to the conclusion that uh, this stuff right here has got to be the way to go for audio. You can actually download this thing for free and use it. Uh, I did pay for the license because I wanted, you know, all of the all of the benefits of it. And I figured the whoever wrote it deserved to be paid too. But anyway, that's not the point right now. We're looking at a one kilohertz signal, something real simple. Right there it is, right up there, one zero zero seven. Looking at it right here, and I'm also watching it over here on the uh, on the HP. 3580A and if you look at this guy right here you will see the fundamental of course second harmonic third fourth and if you got some imagination the fifth and that is you can see that it is better than 85 DB down but it's just barely there but it is there and you can you can make out that it, I'm going to get this thing to focus, that it's supposed to be there. Oh, come on, camera. Any better than that? Well, maybe not. Okay. Well, there it is. But you look over here at the fifth harmonic. Not that the fifth harmonic is terribly important. I think we had a small discussion about harmonics the other day. But look at that. 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. If you actually measure this one, if you measure the fundamental and you measure uh, uh, the 5th, it's about 89 dB down. So it's right at the very threshold of the uh, HP, but uh, there it is, just as big as day. 6, 7, 8, 9. It just goes on and on. It just doesn't know when to quit. Really quite a nice uh, program. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Um, I bought a different uh, USB sound card. This one is uh, that little black uh, sound card right up here. It's made by Behringer. It does uh, sampling at 19.2. And I'll scope in on that and you can see what I can run this thing at now. Okay, looks like we're going to have a focus problem here. There we go. Okay, should be able to read that. 19.2 FFT. In this case, I'm running it low, 81.92. If I run it up here really high, if I take the, uh, the averaging off right here and put it at none, of course, then you, then you see... Here. If you take the averaging off, then uh, you, you get to see all that noise down at the bottom. That's with, no, that's with averaging off. If you put averaging on, this is exponential averaging. That smooths it out. That's a lot more pleasing to the eye. If you put the FFT up at its highest at 130K, then you end up with some very, very narrow. Uh, spikes. If that's what you like. Then so be it. The uh, the peaks are the same amplitude. That doesn't change. It, uh, measuring from here to there is the same. Get the same answer. Just kind of depends on what kind of a, a display pleases your eye. There's a 16K. So you make yourself happy there. And last but not least, keep this video real short because it's really very late here. My time. I got to show you this. I don't have the exactly the right plug for it, but this is my little uh, iPhone with, a, with an FFT program. I, I need a uh, a plug with. Uh, 
instead of just a stereo with an evil with, with, with three hot connections in the ground. But if I hold it just right here, we lay this thing down. Be the best way to plug it in just the right amount, and it switches to the headset microphone. You can see there. You'll end up seeing. Let me scope in on that, and hopefully, hopefully the camera will stay in focus. Get the same display. You know, you do all that double pinch stuff and 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 and, and move things around. There's uh, 60 hertz down here. There's our one kilohertz, second harmonic, third, fourth, fifth. I'd have to get the camera. I don't know if I, how close I can get the camera in on it, where it starts to not be able to focus. Looks like that might be about the, the limit. There you go. But isn't that something? I tell you, I'm just an old guy, and I still stick with the old analog technology. But some of this stuff is just amazing. So if you compare this display to the to the one on the PC, it's it, it's the same. It stuff works. So there you go. These two little guys right here tell you the same thing, and they all tell you the same thing as this within its limit. So how about that? So if you've got a PC, then you've got a spectrum analyzer. Of course, you do need some, some pretty serious attenuation from the voltages across your 8 ohm load down to oh, about minus 30 dB, which seems to be about all that it uh, takes and all that it wants to drive them. But uh, there you go.